Welcome back to Alvin Vaults. Today we're going to look at another video today. Hopefully the weather holds out and we brightens up for us a bit later. We'll get to our next destination where this video is going to be looking at. Um, we're looking at the town train with, uh, with Children Council Day from 1940s, 1960s. I think it's 1960s, I'll clarify that in a bit. Um, with some other European cities and towns. Um, so we are here on Parliament Square, just the best one to talk to you about the induction to what we're talking about. So without further ado, let's get crack a lacking. Yes, yeah, so Governing over to favour of Afton doing this little introduction, if the weather holds out, it is starting to brighten up now as you can see. Um, so yeah, so town, town training was a concept introduced in the 1940s as a way to repair some of the damages done by the Second World War and towns and cities in geographical location geographical and political districts uh, areas of Europe were paired together to nurture human and cultural links um, and the reason why we're in Oldham today is this is where everything started to kick off so Oldham Loves to jump on my bandwagon, as you know, or used to. Um, so all of them jumped on, bought the training bandwagon in the 60s and forged its first training with Krang, a medieval city in Slovenia. Um, and you should be able to see a picture just come up there of Krang. I haven't heard of this, but that's where all of this training started when Alden trained with Kerrang. Kerrang. K R A N G. No. K R A N J. Alden was so impressed with the first training, they went on to train with the German town of Landsberg and in Landsberg, Amalek and Grushchak. Evidence of both of these latest trainings st can still be seen around the Boer today and we're going to go and have a look at one of them in a moment over in Failsworth. Have you guessed what it is yet? Let me know down in the comment section below. So, that's everything from Oldham today. And that weather is brightening up now, so I might go and train it over to Failsworth and see if it's still picking it down. But the reason why I've been able to record this is I'm underneath the shelter outside, but it's used to be TJ uses. in a different location. This is Landsberg Road and just behind me is Landsberg Terrace in Belgrade, just off Westminster Road just here. And this is the main road which takes you from the junction of Roman Road then to towards from Castle Shore to Manchester up towards Woodhouses and Daisy Nell and Coulter Hill. But we are here today. But we are here today looking at Landsberg Road and Landsberg Terrace. I'm going to be taking some preservation pictures as well on, on here from my records and preservation and etc. for 
Facebook, so you might see some images as well from the street. So, we're finding out why the street's got the name Landsberg, and we'll find out what's all the fuss about with it in the connection with Failsworth, when Alden trimmed with Landsberg, not Failsworth. We'll find that in a second. Have I got your interest yet? The link between Failsworth and Landsberg was established in the 70s. I think it was around 1974 when, when Half Gregory struck up a conversation with a German Walt Dreschler on a holiday in Italy with his family. The pair became Penthouse and Old Smith, Walter, even St. Candles to have open during the regular power cuts. The interesting Landsberg came from the famous castle where Halved of Hitler was imprisoned in the 1920s, in the 1974, with the Tr Failsworth um, Training Association was set up. The association used to run coach trips from Failsworth to the um, Landsberg Castle, which imprisoned Alfred Hitler in the 1920s. Um, and the number started off quite well with about 40 people from different ages and localities uh, getting really interested in these trips over to Landsberg in Germany to have a look at this castle and Landsberg in general and there were also exchanges happening between Failsworth and Landsberg Just give me a sec yeah, so the numbers were about 40, then it declined to about 20, then 2, then so on. So the association was struggling in the early 2000s. Um, so, sadly, the training between Failsworth and, um, Failsworth and Landsberg and the training between Oldham and Landsberg um, sadly disappeared and ended in around 2008 when the association seized and the training seized. It is still on record as a twin town with Landsberg, but this is only evidence remaining now in Failsworth in this world here, Landsberg Road and Landsberg Terrace, which is just um, on the other side of here, and back of these houses just over here, so we had the branch of the Hollywood Canal running from the Hashton Canal through Daisy Nook down to top of Hollywood about top of Hollywood bit of Hollywood and um, back in the day. Um, and this area here where we roughly are now is roughly at either the site of Mersey Mill or at the back of where Mersey Mill used to be. So it's quite an interesting story when you get into it. That it's all started back when that meeting um, when Hal Gregory met us talking with Walter Dreskel and then we had the court trips and then they seized and also we used to have I can't really share the picture because it's a bit poor quality but we all the boundary signs used to say Failsworth trimmed with Landsberg. But now we just the talk cut typical corporate boundary signs. So I'm going to post some last images in here so you can have a look around Landsberg, see what it's all about. Then I might have put some pictures in of Landsberg itself. And it's Landsberg I like. I'm like in, in Germany. Um, the other town training, which 
Yeah, there was three others, what you say, and there were two others, Krang and Greska. Uh, Greska is still remembered in Chatterton near Asda, which you'll love might do if you want to follow up to this. And Krang is no longer evident in the town. Um, and yes, just basically the interest between the trainings just faded with people getting the, the novelty worn off really. Um, but yeah, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this video, having a look at me explaining this to Lansdowne Road, where it's got his name from and how it's came about. And yeah, um, so yeah, that's everything.